What's going on, YouTube? It is your girl, Truth. I am back with another video. I just wanted to get on here today and just talk about things that I am currently going through. Some of you guys may be able to relate. Some of you guys, y'all probably already where you want to be or, you know, and maybe this video just is not for you, but this is like, I just, at this point, I want to vent. Like, I have a career and my career is currently surgical tech. Now, it's a lot of things that I could say about being a surgical tech that are absolutely just very rewarding. But there are also a lot of cons that I can just say that it, I don't know, at this point where I'm at right now, me loving my job is not going to pay the bills. You get what I'm saying? Like, you... You are supposed to love what you do, but how can you love what you do if the money and the funds don't add up right? My son, he over there, he's going to be eating on his little cracker. Back in April of 2021, I believe. Wow. April of 2021. Um... I put in my two weeks notice. Um, I was a surgical tech uh, working at a very nice hospital. And have you, a lot of y'all probably already know if you ever had a job and you like, you're doing your best, you are absolutely shining at everything you do. Me, I'm a perfectionist. Whatever I do, I am going to be number one at it. Why? Because, you know, why go to work and be upset or be mad? It's not their fault. People come to get help. I put in my two weeks notice um, because I just, I wanted to try something different. Um, I had been working at that particular hospital for three years. And it's like to have to live paycheck after paycheck. And you have a career is like mind-boggling to me it's like not only do you know what i'm saying you try to change your life for the better but it's like are you serious that i could be making this as a cashier that's a problem that is a problem to me it might not be to you but it's definitely a problem to me that a cashier could even be put on, and I'm not trying to down a cashier. I was a cashier for years. I worked at Walmart. Um, I worked at Super One. Y'all might not even know about that, but um, where else? Cashier at food places. Like, you know, I'm not downing them at all, but I'm just saying, like, to me, whenever you, sorry, y'all, now he wants to, so, huh, his little ball, but to me, whenever you try to do better, you, the pay should also be better. Hold on. Let me get my baby his little cracker. Here you go. Ugh. 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 You got me all sticky. Sorry about that. Um, so the pay should also match. But the pay was not matching. And to me, if you want to have a, a family and, you know what I'm saying, multiply your family, it's like... This was okay for me and my wife, but me, my wife, and multiple kids? Nah, nah. On top of the disrespect that you have to put up with, the uh, being talked to like you are three and like somebody is your daddy. I only got one. I have a daddy. You are not my dad. So it, I just, it, some things just don't sit right. I had put in my two weeks notice. And of course, like I said, y'all, I might be tatted up. I might got piercings. I might, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sold drugs, um, experimented in different things. But one thing you can't say is that Valencia is not a star in pretty much whatever she do. So I had put in my two weeks notice. Y'all, this is how you know that, you know what I'm saying, you're a star. Whenever they come back and 
not only deny, they denied me of quitting. I could have just quit. I could have said, screw y'all, I'm out of here and quit. But I wrote up a, a letter and everything. You know, they came back and was like, hey, the doctor is such and such and such and such. And my thing is, we as people, we tend to accept whatever is being given to you. When you're in that interview, you sitting over there, you're timid, you're a little shy in an interview. When we going through the process of an interview, you are, you sitting over there, you're at, it's like, we be too nervous. Well, I'm gonna speak for me. I be too nervous to ask for too much because it's like, well, they really could just get somebody else to do the job for a little less. So, you know, you be kind of mindful, kind of timid and, but at this point where I'm at, there is no way I will ask for bare minimum. I'm starting to ask you for $50, $50 an hour. And then you can bring it down from there. Because ain't no way. Because when I put in my two weeks notice, not only did they come back, beg me to stay for another month. I stayed for a whole nother month. Why? So that they could get me a replacement and because the doctors did not want me to leave. They they didn't want me to leave. I'm pretty sure my the people that I work with didn't want me to leave. I didn't want to leave. It was just to me the money. I just can't I can't stay and be friends and be all happy and all this when my money is not adding up. You're making money, but I'm not making money. That's a problem to me. So, you know, to me, whenever you go up in that interview, sell yourself, uh, make sure you ask for, ask for the top, especially if you know what type of person you are. And now that I know my worth, I know what type of money I deserve. There is no way you can ever lowball me again. And therefore I'm currently not in that field right now because I just know what they starting out at and it's like, come on now, I'm worth more than that. So with that being said, just know your worth. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for certain things because you know, your work will speak for itself. Man, when them people came back and was willing to pay me what a nurse would pay, I knew right then after this, I am done. I just, I couldn't believe it. Told me to name my price. Pulled me in out of a case and told me to name my price to stay at least for another month. Because they had knew that I was already, I'm done. I'm leaving. I, I gave y'all a letter. I gave you a letter. But anywho, so that's how, that's why I came up with that conclusion. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to have to name my price from this day forward i'm not gonna lowball myself because i have the potential to be great i really short myself by being just a surgical tech if you get my drill when i say living paycheck after paycheck everything was fine everything was good bills being paid but at the same time you gotta remember you also have student loans for me to still not have paid my student loans, that's a problem for me. That's a problem. And why? I wasn't able to pay my student loans. It, it's not like you you making that much. I just wasn't able to. I'm sorry I'm moving all over the place, but he is actually doing a lot. But um, to, to do your bills a little comfortable and pay your loans back i mean it was just a lot for me a lot of people do it but it was a lot for me and i just like i said i'm still stuck with student loans of a career that you know what i'm saying really you can go work at target or a warehouse and not have to even think about anything just you know do your job and you still can make about that same amount of money that is crazy that is bonkers no way should I have an associate's degree put on the same level as somebody else. That's why I'm like, going to school, I got loans. You making 
almost what I'm making and you don't have no loans but still making money. That's the problem. Even though you try to go back to school to do better for you and your family, check what it is you're going to be doing. Make sure that you are going to be compensated very well for what it is because who don't want to make a lot of money, especially when you went to school and you thought that that was something that would actually help you. It's like, I honestly could have worked in a warehouse and been fine. I didn't have to go be in the medical field. If you're gonna do something like that, it's like, so I gotta be a nurse and work my butt off or travel 24 seven just to get paid. That is bonkers. It's crazy. Uh, reason why I ch chose to become a surgical tech, because a lot of you probably like, well, you chose to be a surgical tech, is because I did want to be in the medical field because I am a, I, I am like a caregiver. Like I'm a very caring person. I just knew that that field would actually suit me to, you know what I'm saying, be of service to other people, to help them. You know, because who wants to go to the doctor and the person that is supposed to be helping you, the per person that you are supposed to depend on because you yourself are not able to do it, I just couldn't with the pay and the disrespect from people who, you know what I'm saying, you are actually helping to do their job. So it's like, what? I'm helping you do your job, plus, you know what I'm saying, do my own job, and you have the audacity to talk crazy to me certain things i just cannot and i will not put up with if you're having a bad day do you think that other people don't have a bad day but you get to have a bad day no 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 when you are a professional you're supposed to leave that at home everybody has a bad day but you know what i'm saying i shouldn't have to go to work on pins and needles not and wonder what kind of mood you're going to be in meaning like a doctor or something like that what kind of mood you gonna be in that is bonkers no sir that it don't sit well with me so therefore you know i'm on a different journey trying something different and y'all it is hard it's hard it's scary it's um it's very nerve-wracking to even try something different now i see where they be like well you have to just go all in or don't do it at all like the fear it does it, it's real the fear is real like the fear of the unknown that's what it is it's the fear of the unknown of like if you know that you are surgical tech you're getting up every morning you're going to work you already know what's gonna happen but when you're not doing what you know what i'm saying you actually pay to go do it is very scary it's very different and <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. it's very different and it's like do i really want to go through this it's hard and to find the time and to start over and you know what i'm saying like they say it, People are afraid to fail. And I used to be one of those people. I used to be like, no, I ain't no way. I got a career now. I, I just cannot not do my career. And, you know, honestly, failure is not an option. But at the same time, how can I become great at something if I'm too afraid to fail? If I'm too afraid to take a chance and do something different sometimes you just gotta take a chance that's pretty much what i'm doing taking a chance and trying to figure out what's my next move that will benefit me my wife and my son i guess that's really all i want to say in this video um i'm also going to be i'm on a journey right now a meditation journey and I do plan on documenting that just to you know see if it really works see if 
you know, I can overcome some things that I may still be afraid of. Like, you know, dropping videos and, you know, putting your life out there so others can come in and give their opinion. That is a very scary thing. Um, of course, everyone is not going to like you. Of course, everyone is going to have something to say, especially like a two mom household with a little boy. So, of course, a lot of people are going to have words to say, but we should be uplifting people. And I just want to let people know that it's okay to start over. It's okay to say that I have a career and I'm actually not happy in it. And it, it's not, like I said, like the people or anything like that. It was pretty much my money. I, that's something I cannot play around with. I could be happy at work and, you know, doing all these things. But when it comes to living, you still have to live. You still have bills to pay. And being happy is not going to pay them bills. Follow me as I go on with this journey uh, to see if meditating and trying something different you know just trying a whole new because i'm in my 30s now and so trying something different to see if it works if it don't how should i handle it or how should it be i'm here for it i will be as consistent as i can be um at this point it's either I'm all in or I'm all out. And right now, I'm definitely all in. And so right now, what I'm doing is let's talk more action. That's going to be my motto for 2023. Let's talk more action. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. And, um, yeah, make sure you leave in the comments on what it is you're doing. If you're making the money, if you're happy, if you know, you started a career and you're thinking about changing. Sometimes, you know, change is good, but a lot of people, they are afraid to change. So join me as I embark on this new journey. My name is Valencia, aka Truth. And um, yeah, I'm out.